Yes, definitely. <laughs> what does a job mean to you? Uh, to me personally, job means being stable in life, being independent. Uh, so, be, regardless of gender uh, or regardless of any social condition that you belong to in India, uh, job means stability and independence. I don't think it's necessary that someone should love their job because at the end, a person wants that its basic requirement should be met, right? So, I don't think that everyone who does a job loves his job and uh, I don't think that there's any problem with not, in not loving your job. Right. Do you love your job? Yes, I do love my job. A job means, according to me, it doesn't mean how much you earn, but rather you should be satisfied at the end of the day, when you end your day, you should be satisfied with what you do the entire day. Absolutely. See, uh, there was a time when I was not totally loving this job of dentistry and I left it in between and prepared for UPSC. Uh, somehow things didn't work out in that field. And I, again, that was actually a difficult time for me when I again shifted back to dentistry. But in my mind, I had to literally train myself until and unless I don't start loving my job all over again, I won't be doing ju justice to my job and to my patients as well. Uh, for me, it's everything because at a very small age I'm working, I'm financially independent. So for me, job is everything. Uh, before I used to like, uh, for money, I used to ask my parents, like, I want this, I want that. Now I'm financially independent. I ask my parents, I want this. So I directly go and buy. I am a dancer. 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 I am What role does religion play in your life? Well, I would rather not comment on that because as I said, everything everything has been monetized. So religion has also been monetized. Okay. So some people generate their daily living by monetizing their religion. So I think it's up to them. It's their own conscience. Religion for me, uh, religion is you're born in a religion. Uh, but I would not say that, you know, it is your choice, but you are definitely born in a religion and you, your upcoming is through your religion again. Yeah, religion is everything. Uh, especially like people have made that religion actually. Like uh, for example, if I take my company, uh, dog, uh, dogs, like we are into dogs. They don't see, they are Muslim, they are Hindu, they are Christian. It all depends on humanity. Uh, we should love it. Uh, everything is how we take care of the things. Uh, it will depend on it. Religion is just a small word. What we have taken, what we have done, it. that's it. I look this religion as like uh, doing voluntary works and helping, helping the people. So, f f I think for me, religion means uh, for everyone to be a good human being and to, uh, to, to contribute to our society, to be a good human being and to, uh, to develop human excellence. Mm. I am brought up in a religious family because since the day I was born, I have been oriented into a religious one. So I am a religious person, but the role that it does play, I'm not sure because I have atheists uh, as my friends. 
so i have seen them faring well so without religion i have seen them faring well so it's basically a concept that uh, you know strengthens our mind for me and if you are able to find that strength without believing in a certain religion or without following a custom it's really welcome religion uh it's quite difficult to answer but according to me religion is something which brings a community together where you have principles and values which will help you in going forward in the right way so religion be a personal private or a private affair uh it depends upon person to person like some people if you go at the northern side or even in the south side we can see that people are taking a religious as their private pro uh, property i can say or they treat such like it's an a personally something attack has been happening but apparently if we come at a like south mumbai mumbai side like east west side there you can see there is more culture widens and there is no like religions in that so there is no private or per personal religion religions are religions What do you believe that Indians are really good at? Uh, cricket. <laughs> Indians are pretty good at anything. Indians, I think, are survivors. Okay. Basically, hmm. they know how to survive in adverse of the conditions. They are hardworking. Okay. So Indians are survivors. You give them a condition, a set of. hard working conditions and they'll survive somehow it's in built in us to you know hard work to work hard for a goal and our ambitions uh <laughs> probably indians are good at turning in politics <laughs> jokes apart but according to me indians are good at proving themselves indiyargal ellathile nama kalaacharathile kalaicharnavargal manitha neyathile எல்லாத்துலேயும் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா மற்ற நாடுகளை காட்டிலும் நம்ம இந்தியா வந்து பெருமையாக சொல்லக்கூடிய அளவுக்கு இருக்கு வி ஆர் லிவிங் இன் சஸ் எ கண்ட்ரி வேர் வி ஆர் லிவிங் இன் யூனிட்டி இன் டைவர்சிட்டி அண்ட் டைவர்ஸ் கல்ச்சர் அண்ட் தட் இஸ் அவர் ஸ்ட்ரென்த் இந்தியன்ஸ் ஆர் குட் அட் டூயிங் ஹார்ட் ஒர்க் அட் எனி டிசைர் ஓகே ஹார்ட் ஒர்க் இஸ் கீ ஆஃப் இந்தியன் பீப்பிள் ஆல்ரைட் இஃப் வி சி த சிட்டிசன்ஷிப் ட்ரெண்ட் டெமோகிராஃபிக் டெவிடன்ட் ரைட்ஸ் தேர் So hard working is in the bloods and the veins of people of India. Huh? भारत बर्षो किसे भारत बर्षो आमार मोने हाय आम्रा शंकुष्कृति दिखते के खूब भालो आमादेर देश शब्द दिखते के आमार मोने हाय पुरी पुरनो. अभी इतना के आमारो जोनसी जो अलग भाई बोले रहे थे थे एवं अभी अभी जो भी देखी जो भी बच्चे जो भी लाइन देखी तंदी पादे उन्होंने को नहीं माने जाना ये सेक्सुअल के
So, do you believe that your education has helped you? Not really. Yes, sir. Obviously, my education helped me, so that's why I'm here. I can say that, yeah. Definitely, uh, my education has helped me so far because I think one of the reason why I'm speaking to you now is because of my education. So I definitely think education has had a huge role in where I am now, uh, in my opinion. Yeah, because now as a competing word, education is uh, too important. Uh, even the person who is sweeping or even the person who is cooking in the kitchen also required education. Because without any education, there is nothing can be gained. Yeah, education has opened my eyes to see things objectively and it has given me an understanding heart as well while dealing with other people and their problems. So yes, education has and will always be beneficial for me and it, was, it, would always, it will always help me in the future as well. That's how I feel. Yeah. What does freedom actually mean to you? For me, freedom is like... Freedom. So freedom, according to me, as per the layman, as per the symbol of India, it could be the um, full pockets with the dollars or the money. So can, so can, firstly, I can fulfill the desires of my family. Secondly, uh, then I could uh, do something for the society. I think, uh, you know, the idea of freedom is a very big myth. Uh, because on the other hand, if we we strive for freedom, we yearn for freedom, but I think we also have to think about what will happen to us or what we will become if we become entirely free. So I think certain categorization and certain restrictions and law and order are required in society or any, you know, in, in any group in order to uh, live in peace and harmony. Freedom, this is quite a uh, controversy, it's a relative subject. Freedom for you, it may be something else, for me, maybe something, it's a relative matter. For According to me, freedom is, you should be free in what you're doing, you should have knowledge in what you're doing, and you should be free in going through it. <laughs> So what does comfort, the word comfort mean to you? Well, comfortable life is the one where you have in time ki roti, you have good food to eat, you have shelter to live and you have AC while you are sleeping. <laughs> so comfort means something, uh, you are in uh, somewhat favorable condition, all things are going into favor of you, that is favorable to me, that is a favorable condition okay. or comfort level. Comfort basically means having my own space and my own time. It's basically me time, to be honest. Wherever he or she feels the most happiest, the most contented, that's the person he or she will be. It, it will not be one particular country, it will not be like a very, um, you know, a very posh house or like, it, it can matter, it, it differs. Places where there is no worry 
and the striving to attain more and more and just being satisfied with what one has i think that is a is a, the kind of place where uh, there is there are people who live comfortably i think again comfort is a relative term if you're comfortable in your own house if you're satisfied with whatever you have i think everyone in the world will be comfortable in wherever they live 2 1 0 Normal. Majestic lift off and the announcement of normal lift off okay. from the Where do you see India at 100 years of independence? India in 100 years of independence. India's new generation the new generation will be happy not stressed not toxic and will see scope in everything they do um i think uh, we will have a lot more achievements and advancement than we have we do right now because as i've said before we indians are a very talented lot uh we we you know we have the potential and the capacity for doing great things so i think india will rise to you know great heights in the future সায়েন্স অ্যান্ড টেকনোলজি আমি যদি বলতে পারি হ্যাঁ স্বাধীনতার পরে সেটা অনেক উন্নত হয়েছে ভারতবর্ষের ইনফ্রাস্ট্রাকচার অনেক তৈরি হয়েছে অনেক আমাদের আমাদের অনেক মানে বলবো প্রযুক্তি উন্নত হয়েছে ও ওকে ফ্রম আওয়ার্স উই ক্যান সি ফ্রম সিন্স নাইনটিন নাইনটিজ ওয়ে লাইক in every uh, we are uh, still in the developing phase i think in 10 years i'll be uh, india will be in a good place uh, for the future I, uh, like you can see everything in daily life uh, like uh, around the i think sorry i think india will be in a good place in 10 years i think ana irundala enga pane eringalukku innu oru sodhana kedikala adhu enna naga enga tholilla vandu oru periya modak vandu kallu thana padai adhaiyum arsanga neekinu nadha naanga thodacha sodhana irukku I think um a complete secular let's say that's my dream anyway a total secular and free space where everyone can enjoy his or her sense of self yeah that's what i'm hoping for yeah on the future of india <clears throat> where do you see india at 100 years of independence i think far more better than now now also we have freedom things are going on i don't want to say what's happening what's happening and all but yeah i feel like uh good at technology still next think that india meets the basic needs of its people i think so yes i i don't think it, that would be a very easy uh, question to answer india is really trying to uh, meet uh, daily needs of people like uh, the government is uh, giving a uh, really good support like those who are really in need like providing food supplies uh, free education uh, 
Yeah. Yeah. In such cases, I really is the uh, India is really helping him. Ah, uh-huh, that means it is uh, a very giving nation. Okay. We are, uh, you know, a socialist uh, state. We believe in uh, taking care of our people, and India is you know, a nation of freebies. <laughs> people are used to getting freebies, and I think that is also uh, one of the reasons it is acting as a hindrance now in the growth of the country. But yes, India as a nation is a giving nation. அடிப்படை தேவைகள் நாலு பொருள் கொடுக்குறாங்க இலவசமாக நீ அந்த நாலு பொருளுக்கு இலவசமாக கொடுத்துட்டு நான் ஒரு பொருளுக்கு விலையை ஏற்றி அந்த வரி இந்த வரி நீத்தி மக்களுடைய வாழ்க்கை அமைஞ்சுதான் இருக்குது எல்லாத்தையும் கவனத்தில் எடுத்துங்க இன்னும் சம்வேர் யா தே ஆர் ப்ரொவைடிங் சம்வேர் வித் தே ஹாவ் டு ஸ்டில் வை ஹாவ் டு ஒர்க் ஆன் இட் ஆல் திஸ் திங்ஸ் லைக் கரப்ஷன் அண்ட் ஆல் ஆல் திஸ் திங்ஸ் யா கம்மிங் டு தேட் ஐ திங்க் பேசிக் நீட்ஸ் first of all if we define that i think it should uh, be food uh, then shelter and such basic needs so still if we like when sitting here uh, with this table and all i can actually say that uh, yes india has uh, met all my basic needs but there are people around who are still struggling to earn uh, you know a day uh, like one time meal so i guess we have scope for more improvement there uh, because there are people there uh, who sleep hungry still today who are homeless so uh, yes i think uh, india needs more improvement on meeting basic needs did not have to work for a living what would you be doing uh, that's something that i have like i have not yet thought of like uh, wild photography or like world tour uh, like exploring it all the world uh, even i would like to explore india also i will be continuing my higher studies uh, i would uh, be working for an ngo if i hadn't take up teaching as a profession i would give my full time to creative writing because i love creating stories mi bollo na madha painting passion ahe so aple passion kade ap lakshya dela hava i will be doing same rsf because i have already told that rsf uh, is my uh, prior area of interest and passion also i like to travel to different countries different uh, see different places uh, explore their culture yeah that's what i will be doing i'd be traveling like a free bird <laughs> Subscribe to the Federal's YouTube page for more interesting updates.